Hey foodies, it's Dean again from the Breakfast and Brunch Club YouTube channel. Today I'm checking out a place that's forged a reputation of having the best croissant recipe in the world. That's right, in the world. So I want to see if all the hype's justified. Let's go in and check it out. And hey, don't forget to stick around to the end of this episode where I'll compare these croissants with some of the other croissants that you can get in and around Melbourne to see how they really stack up. Okay, I'm, I've already made up my mind. I want um, a takeaway, please. Okay. But I'll have uh, the traditional. I'm going to go the ham and gruyere. Mm -hmm. I like this uh, lemon curd. What what do you call these things? It's They're a called pruffins. Pruffin. Yeah, a pruffin. 100% croissant pastry, just based on the muffin tin. So they look like a muffin, but they're not a muffin. Thank you. And then I'll have one more, um, yep. which will be the almond croissant. Of Thank you very much. got my takeaway um, takeaway items which I'll go through uh, in a minute. Okay let's do this cutting out. The centrepiece of the venue is the glass enclosed kitchen where customers can observe the pastry chefs making these amazing creations. A single loon croissant is created over a period of three days. The dough is firstly created and then rested for 18 hours where it slowly ferments. The 27 pastry layers are then created and the butter is meticulously folded in, adhering to a strict regime of folding then resting. They are then proven, egg washed and then baked to produce the perfect croissant. So here we have a Louis Bessonterie, um, pretty cool place, like a, worth coming just to sort of get a feel for the vibe of the, the joint, is busy behind the kitchen, it's all glassed off as you can see, so you get a real uh, sense of what's going on in the kitchen. The queue wasn't too bad, uh, that lasted five minutes at most. So what you see here is a lot of customers sitting around the outside wall uh, with their coffee and their hot chocolate and cutting into their croissants or cronuts or whatever they want, cruffins, cruffins, that's the word. on the outside, soft, a little bit gooey in the middle, which is what, what you want from the cheese, and the ham, and it's not overpowered by the mustard or anything like that, it's just a really good fit, so um, excuse me while I um, polish off the rest. Here we have the basic plain croissant, the one that made this place famous. There's the pattern up there and I'm just dying to take a bite because a basic croissant is nothing better. Simple food, done well. Here we go. Mm. Yeah, really great. It's still crunchy on the outside as I'm chewing through it. Soft with the right amount of with the right amount of denseness. I do like my croissants with a little bit of body about them. Oh, that's that's lovely. Yeah, I can see what all the hype's about now. That first bite, I just want to devour it. So here I go.
family guy. Mmm, kind of messy and everything's falling apart. But I'll tell you what, with the bites, sweet, a beautiful almond paste in the middle, the same croissant texture. Yeah, almond croissant, that gets a thumbs up for me. sweet option this time this one's called the lemon curd cruffin um, have a look through there there's the lemon curd there's a nice topping on it here goes mmm oh that lemon curd really really strong punchy um, I love my lemon flavor so um, that's that's just jumping through it's sort of singing in my mouth right now and then you've got the cruffin with the the crunch on the outside, slight amounts of sugar dusted on the outside too. And it's really soft in the middle, really fluffy and soft in the middle. So I'll tell you what, I'm going back for a cruffin. That was beautiful. So firstly we've got the, the Coles croissant, uh, there it is there, uh, relative to my hand, and I'll just sort of rip it apart, it feels quite stiff, it feels a bit like, a bit like stale bread to be honest, and um, that's what it looks like on the inside, so it just sits there, I'll have one bite. Yeah. It's quite buttery, more buttery than I thought. Quite um, uh, dense in its, you know. Overall, I think this is best suited to cut in half and to toast, put lashings of butter and jam on it. Um, but I think toasting it would be better or warming it up in the oven. Right, I'm gonna go with, um, try the Baker's Delight one next. That's this one here. It's quite, quite large compared to my hand. And uh, picking it up, the first thing I notice is it feels quite heavy. There's a fair, yeah, there's, there's a fair bit of weight in this. So I'm gonna, um, I'll just tear away one of the ends and get a bit of a, bit of a look there. See there. And um, I'll have a bite. Look, the taste is just like it looks. It's pretty flat. There's not a lot of taste there. It just tastes a bit doughy um, and lifeless, just um, the way it looked on the, on the bag as well. Right, the next one's from the local French bakery. I'll pop the name up below because I don't want to get it wrong by uh, mispronouncing it here. So um, here it is. It's um, it's a generous and uh, good looking croissant, well shaped and beautiful folds. Um, nice and even when you look at it like that way. So it's got a bit of weight to it. Um, feels firm on the outside. I'm really looking forward to testing this one out. So I'll rip it. Um, quite hard to rip actually, quite hard to rip. Is looking inside, it's got some aerated pockets and, and what have you, but um, hold that up to there. Oh, let's have a taste of this. Here we go. Again, it's um, it's quite soft on the palate, it's not as buttery as I was hoping it would be, and uh, that's what I like in my croissants. I think a croissant needs to be eaten without any condiments, that's the best, um, the best test of a croissant. And uh, this one, I think, is just lacking a little bit of that punch. Looks okay, but other than that, uh, you know, it's it's just okay, average. That's what I would say. All right, finally, we're going to uh, test out the Loon Croissant, the plain butter croissant. So I'll just grab that, picking it up. Uh, a little bit of weight in it. Uh, here's the size relative to my hand. It's got a very firm outer texture, um, like, like a shell, um, which is, I think a good croissant should be crunchy on the outside. So we're going to have a look at it up there. Well, I'm going to break off the end. Yep, oh, there's a bit of crunch and crackle going on. I like that. Um, there's inside beautiful folds and aerated pockets in it. And it smells good. Mm, the outside shell is crunchy, and then the inside inside folds are sort of biting through different textures, and definitely buttery. Um, 
and I keep using that term because that's what croissant should be. Um, I could eat this just untouched, a cup of coffee would be nice to go with it, um, but the Loon Croissant, yeah, that's a bit of a standout for me. So the Loon Croissant, is it worth the hype? The best croissant recipe in the world. I've tasted many different croissants in my time. It definitely stands out compared to the three others I've tried here. I would say this is the best plain butter croissant I've ever tasted.